Alright, we're back where we left off, and we're going to continue in the Order of the Raven area. This is another really cool area of the game. Um, it's like, I think these guys um, actually learned something in history class. I think these four are the people that helped John Wilkes Booth kill Abraham Lincoln, or they didn't help him, but they planned to kill like several presidents or uh, government affiliated, affiliated people. I'm not very good in history, but I think that's what happened. I don't remember their names or anything, though. That's kind of cool that they put that in here and stuff. It really adds a lot to the detail of the game. All right. So these all guys are f all freaking hostile. And real quick, I had somebody point out in my last video that, um, or they asked if I was re really playing on 1999 mode. And yeah, I'm playing on 1999 mode. It's right here. I can't change it at all. So just to let you guys know, I'm play still playing on that. So just want to let you guys know. I completely missed that. Are these guys innocents? Oh no, he's not. He's got a gun. We got him. Alright. Sorry if I scound a little not as hyper as before, because it's been a long day, so. I'll try to still be a little weak, but it's been a long day, so. Alright. Oh, box phone. Oh, I can't even heal or hear the voice. He's definitely one of the characters I dislike the most in this game. Ooh, I'm so tired. Okay, let's go up here. This game is so detailed, oh my gosh. I'm just gonna take all these guys out now. pretty well. Or it doesn't even look like they all died. Right. I don't have enough. Oh, don't have enough to use possession so I have to actually come up. Oh, are they all dead? Yeah, 1999 mode is not as hard as I thought it would be, but the difficulty should pick up. We're still very early on, so the difficulty should have picked up here in a while. Is that everyone? Wow, oh, that was not that hard. Huh? Alright, let's go down here and see what's up. I don't know where the Raven guy went. Oh, I think he moves on. It's got another infusion here. Um, I think I'm going to keep leveling up shields. It's probably what I'm, what I'm focusing on. Alright, there's the key, key for that chest back there, so... Yeah, we're going to go all the way back there open that chest. Alright, so I'm not going to go ahead yet real quick because I want to go back and unlock that chest. See what's in there. What exactly was the great emancipator emancipating the Negro from? From his daily bread. From the nobility of honest work. From wealthy patrons who sponsored them from cradle to grave. From clothing and shelter. And what have they done with their freedom? Why, go to Finkton and you shall find out. No animal is born free. Except the white man. And it is our burden to care for the rest of creation. See if I can sneak past these guys. I didn't know they respawned. Oh god. Yeah. Oh wait. How have they not seen me yet? Oh my god. Alright. I'm just gonna skip him. I don't even wanna fight him. Pretty sure I'm going early. It's just that one house that I saw back there. Um, yeah, it should be right up there. Jump on that. Jump over here. Yeah, it's in here. Jump over here. Okay. 
then I think it was down here. Right, I should be in this room right here. There we go. What the? All right, so there's an infusion here. That's good. I'm gonna continue with shields. Probably putting a lot too many in shields, but that's what I'm focusing on. So. Yeah, I think I missed a total of like seven infusions when I went through my first time, so hopefully we'll get all of them. Maybe not, though. That'd be nice if I could get all of them in this playthrough. There's also an achievement for um, not buying anything from the dollar bill vending machines on 1999 mode, which I think I might have already screwed up because I think I remember buying like a health kit really, really early on. But we'll see at the end if I get the achievement. That would be pretty nice. It's not that it matters. Not really like it matters. It's just an achievement. It would still be cool to get. Alright, so now we can continue on. Hopefully get somewhere. This isn't too much backtracking. I thought it would be a lot worse than that. I forgot how far up the key was. Such so much detail. I'm gonna search around here. There's really nothing around. Here. Is there really nothing in this room? Huh? That's weird. Oh, I could have listened to the radio. Sorry. Sorry if somebody wanted to listen to that. I just skipped it. But Going up the elevator. Alright. Vending machines in Capella India. I'm not using the vending machines. It's bad. Alright. Yeah, you can possess them, I think. And that won't affect the achievement, I'm pretty sure. Wow, that gave me two... That gave me two pieces of Silver Eagle. That was so worth it. Oh my gosh. It's over here. Yeah, there's all these empty rooms. Okay, there's a box of them. Sweet mother of Columbia. Why do we worship three symbols in your memory? We worship the sword so that we might avenge you. We worship the raven so that we might cover the city with eyes. We worship the coffin because it symbolizes the weight of our faith. It's really cool. I love the weight of um, the box of ones because they give so much back background information. Like, like it, was, it gave a lot of background information. It's gonna have a piece of gear here. Jumping off skyline reloads the ammo. I'm gonna compare it. Um, I think I'm going to keep what I have right now. I'll just take it, but I'm not going to equip it. Can I actually play this? Nope. It's already going alright. There's a Chinese prisoner. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Oh, God. Yeah, I forgot about that part. <laughs> oh, God. It's pretty brutal. Alright, so we gotta fight Birdman now. There he is. Wow, that was so easy. Oh my god. What's this? Kind of bigger. Alright. Now we get Raven Crow, I forget what it's called. It's a cool bigger container. Murder of Crows, that's what it is. So basically, it lets you send crows at people. I'm going to be honest, I mean, this could be like a, like a kind of like a bigger spoiler, just for this plasmid, or this vigor. Is that it's really not good, like, early game it's extremely good, like it stuns them for a long time, and stuff like that. Yeah. Like right there I'd say it was good, but late game, oh my god, it is so bad late game, like, I don't think I remember one time using it in late game. A couple times I did, because it's like it's only good against human enemies. That's the only thing it'll help you with, really. 
like uh, later when you start fighting enemies that are not human or well like candy men and stuff they're not helpful at all so it's one of the less useful ones but early on it takes very good because it will completely stun people Oh yeah, that was like... Oh, excuse me, what is this? Oh, it's like the same thing as Electric Punch, except it burns them. Yeah, that was like one of the hypes about Bioshock Infinite. I remember like in the trailers, people were like, Oh god, you can get crows and throw them at people. I was like, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty awesome though. I'm gonna go back home, there might be something up there. Got some money. I wasted my time, never mind. There's nothing over here. I might just cut videos off like in the middle of them because I don't know how long my videos are running in length, so I don't want them to be too long. This is like so cool, like you don't even have to go to this spot, but you have that sense that you're not on like a predestined path. Like, you're gonna end up somewhere, but you can, like, stop and explore places like this. And it's just like a random house, you can just walk in and look around. And this person is, like, describing you to the police officer. nothing like me. I am very bad. I just killed everybody. They were giving me away. I think there's something in here, isn't it? There's nothing in here? Just people? Okay. That's really... Hmm. That's really cool, though, that they put that in the game, is you can just walk into some of these random house and kill them. It's, I don't know. I thought that very interesting. Alright. Let's go over here now. Wow, this guy... How does this guy not rip his arm off? Like, you would think those jumps would, like, cause his arm to rip off. Goodbye. Oh, I almost got the edge. Aerial assassin and shooting. Okay. Looks like upgrading the shield was definitely the way to go, because um, seems like that's what's going to help me through this mode a lot. That's why I'm investing in it. Because health, like, I don't know, your health is, like, so non-reliable in this, it seems. Let's see, is there anything over here? Alright. Why is the next area cool? Tom's talking about us coming. Who told him? I like these quotes that they put at the bottom. They're really nice. Figure traps are extremely powerful. No. Really. Alright, check how we're doing on time. Give me a second. 